Our service of morning prayer will begin on page 80 of the Book of Common Prayer. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. O God, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us continue with the Pascha Nostrum found on page 83. Alleluia. Christ is risen indeed. Come, let us worship. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has become the... Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen indeed. Come, let us worship. Alleluia. The Psalms for this morning are Psalms 61 and 62, beginning on page 668 of the Book of Common Prayer. Alleluia, let us give thanks to God, Alleluia. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. I call upon you from the ends of the earth with heaviness in my heart. Set me upon the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I will dwell in your house forever. I will take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O oh God, have heard my vows. You have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name. Add length of days to the king's life. Let his years extend over many generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him. So will I always sing the praise of your name. And day by day I will fulfill my vows. For God alone my soul in silence waits. From him comes my salvation. God alone is my rock and my salvation. My stronghold so that I shall not be greatly shaken. How long we will assail me to crush all of you together. As if you were a leaning fence, a toppling wall. They seek only to bring me down from my place of honor. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their lips, but in their hearts they curse. For God alone my soul in silence waits. Truly my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. my stronghold, so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my safety and my honor. God is my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in him always, O people. Pour out your hearts before him, 
for God is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Even those of low estate cannot be trusted. On the scales they are lighter than a breath. All of them together. Put no trust in extortion, in robbery take no empty pride. The wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice have I heard it. That power belongs to God. Steadfast love is yours, O Lord. For you repay everyone according to their deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us give thanks to God. Alleluia. A reading from the book of Leviticus, chapter 16, verses 20 to 34. When he had finished atoning for the holy place and the tent of meeting and the altar, he shall present the live goat. Then Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the live goat and confess over it all the iniquities of the people of Israel and all their transgressions, all their sins, putting them on the head of the goat and sending it away into the wilderness by means of someone designated for the task. The goat shall bear on itself all their iniquities to a barren region, and the goat shall be set free in the wilderness. Then Aaron shall enter the tent of meeting and shall take off the linen vestments that he put on when he went into the holy place and shall leave them there. He shall bathe his body in water in a holy place and put on his vestments. Then he shall come out and offer his burnt offering and the burnt offering of the people, making atonement for himself and for the people. The fat of the sin offering he shall turn into smoke on the altar. The one who sets the goat free for Azazel shall wash his clothes and bathe his body in water and afterwards may come into the camp. The bull of the sin offering and the goat of the sin offering, whose blood was brought in to make atonement in the holy place, shall be taken outside the camp. Their skin and their flesh and their dung shall be consumed in fire. The one who burns them shall wash his clothes and bathe his body in water, and afterwards may come into the camp. This shall be a statute to you forever. In the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall deny yourselves and shall do no work, neither the citizen nor the alien who resides among you. For on this day atonement shall be made for you to cleanse you from all your sins, and you shall be clean before the Lord. It is a Sabbath of complete rest to you, and you shall deny yourselves. It is a statute forever. The priest who is anointed and consecrated as priest in his father's place shall make atonement, wearing the linen vestments, the holy vestments. He shall make atonement for the sanctuary, and shall make atonement for the tent of meeting and for the altar, and he shall make atonement for the priests and for all the people of the assembly. This shall be an everlasting statute for you to make atonement for the people of Israel once in the year for all their sins. And Moses did as the Lord had commanded him. Here ends the reading. Let us pray together, Canticle 10, Querite Dominum, beginning on page 86 of the Book of Common Prayer. Seek the Lord where he wills to be found, and call upon God when God draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the evil ones their thoughts. 
and let them return to the Lord, and God will have compassion, and to our God, for God will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says God. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth, it will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 7 to 15. When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Here ends the reading. Let us pray together, Canticle 11, Surge Illuminare, beginning on page 87. Book of Common Prayer. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the people. But over you the Lord will rise, and God's glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray together the Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us pray, suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. 
Lord, keep this nation. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. O God, the author of peace and lover of comfort, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Welcome to our service of morning prayer at All Saints. We're so glad you were joining us today. Worship has taken on new forms. Doing morning prayer before a camera and the pews are empty. And you are at home, maybe feeling isolated, alone. But we want you to know that this church is not empty. It is full of the presence of God and it is full of the presence of our congregation. And you are not alone. We worship together as the body of Christ. We join together with all Christians throughout the world and throughout all time praising God and lifting our voices as we praise God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And I'm about to pray the prayers for this morning. If you have any prayer requests, please contact us through our website, allsaintssf.org, or email me directly, chaplain at allsaintssf.org, and your prayer request will be included in our morning office. Additionally, we have a bulletin board outside the church. If you are walking by 1350 Waller Street, wearing a mask, keeping social distancing, for we pray above all, keep yourself safe and healthy. But feel free to write down any prayer requests on our bulletin board. Let us pray for the church and for the world. O oh God, we pray for your holy church. For all who minister in her, for all bishops, priests, deacons, all pastors, all parsons, all lay people who are leading worship at this time. We pray for all the nations of this world, for all those in authority. May they be guided to moral and just decisions by your love and your wisdom. To God, we pray for the poor, the sick, the homeless, the hungry, the needy, for those in prison. We pray for anyone facing financial insecurity at this time. We pray for those suffering from the coronavirus and those who are worried about it. We pray for Janie, Mana, Fred, Rose, Shepherd, Aster, Roger. Dear God, we pray for the souls of all the departed. We remember Dorothy, Tom, Bernadette, John, Leo, Charles, Carolyn, Ernest, Shubin, Margaret Rose, Elysio, and Richard. May light perpetual shine upon them. Dear God, we pray for the concerns of this congregation and for this community. We remember Polly, Shirley, Bill, Brad, John, Richard, the Harris family, the Altamuros, the Avilas, the Alos, which is in Dejas, Fran, Penny, Mina, Steph, Adagunde, Jim and his family, Ace, Jean, John, Daniel, 
Pie, William. The Riveras, the Damascos, the Colangelos, the Grimshaws, the Studerts, the Lucionis, the Cr Cricket, Olga, Constantine, Dimitri, Matthew, Isabella, Fabrizio, Gregory, Lola, B. Beaver, Conco Timothy, Azrael, Beth, Kay, Jerome, Mormons, Roger and his wife, Baby Isla, Mackenzie, Dreamers, Ian, Lola Carmelita, Ninang Rose, Abigail, Len, Malia, Sierra, Isaiah, Josh, Sigmund, Karen, SL and family, Tony, Teresa, Luis, Warsinks, Otis, Thomas, Lou, Osun, Estianas, Howard, Sophia, Ricky, Annika Elizabeth, Dr. Lenz, Nicole, Jesus, Penny, Claire, Patrick, Phyllis, Tom, Charlie, David, Sana. May they always feel your presence. Dear God, we give you thanks for all the blessings of this life. We thank you for all those medical people, frontline workers, government workers who are working and taking care of us in this time when it can be dangerous for them to do so. We give thanks to this community here at All Saints. We thank you for our interim rector, Beth, and we pray for her in her time of loss. We thank you for our volunteer clergy, for our staff, for our lay leaders. We give thanks for our Saturday morning food program and we pray for those who are fed by it. We thank you for the volunteers who serve in it and pray that this ministry may begin again soon. We give thanks for the San Francisco Healthcare Home and we pray for the people who live there. We give thanks for those who volunteer in the ministry there and pray that this ministry may again, may also begin again soon. We give thanks for Chester, Ryan A, and Don J, their daughter. We thank, give thanks for Rob and Cantina and the safe birth of their daughter. We thank you for the 100th birthday of Willard Harris and the baptism of Perebi. We thank you for Marina and Henry. Most of all, we give you thanks for this great, wondrous, marvelous gift of creation. May we become faithful stewards of this great gift. For whom and for what else shall we pray? Let us join together all our prayers in the general thanksgiving found on page 101 of the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by, your Lord, by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, to honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen.